Hello, hello. I am back with another video. And the purpose of this video is to talk about relationships, healthy relationships, and how relationships are so important. You know, I changed my channel. I changed the tone of my channel to begin to talk more about relationships and healthy relationships. Because I believe that relationships <laughs> are so important. I believe that there's a correlation with our success it tied up into relationships. I really do. And you know, so, so I'll share this with you like this here. You know how there's like mind, body, and soul, you know, they'll have like um, the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost in religion. They'll have me, myself, and I, and all these things in the spiritual aspect. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego? I don't know. <laughs> Anyway, they have all these things in the spiritual asset, I mean, aspect of uh, life that are connected with three and, and becoming one and merging to higher self or the divine or whatever spiritual way you look at it. But what happens spiritually on the spiritual realm manifests and shows itself on the physical realm, realm some way. So physically, I believe that relationships, wealth and health are tied together too, you know? So I want to explain to you how a relationship can bring you up or down, okay? <laughs> okay. So let's go down. Let's go down. Let's go down first. So we have wealth health and relationships so let's say you have a job you have a job and you something happened on the job where the relationship was severed for some reason and you lost it so you lose your job so you're losing some of your wealth right <laughs> And in losing some of your wealth, now you are upset and now you don't know how to channel that energy. It's been rough for you and now you're trying to find another job. But in the meanwhile, you're taking it out on your spouse or your boyfriend or whoever, your person that you live with. And so now your relationship is suffering. So your wealth decreased because you lost some income. Your relationship failed because you started treating your partner any kind of way so now you are stressed out <laughs> and being stressed out we already know that stress weakens the immune system right so you see how the energy transferred from all of them the wealth to the relationship to the health decreasing that person's frequency but let's let's increase our frequency with those three and show you how this energy can spiral up instead. Let's start off with maybe health. This is how I started off my journey with health, you know, wanting to eat better, you know. So I started with my health. And so I just stopped cold turkey eating, you know, the meats and the cold drinks and the sugars and stuff, right? So we're we'll back at the three, the health, the wealth, and the relationship. I started with my health. With my health, I wanted to increase my um, health and just have good quality of life, just have energy, you know? So I do that, maybe you maybe work out, maybe you just eat right, maybe you, um, I don't know, start incorporating more vegetables and herbs, whatever it is you do, you're gonna start feeling better about yourself. Maybe you're gonna be changing the way you walk now. Maybe you're walking heel toe, heel toe. Maybe those hips are moving now and, and you're gliding and you're confident and of your new body. You know, you, you're changing the way maybe for your dress. Maybe you're changing the way that you do your hair. Maybe now you want to put up on, put some makeup on because you lost so many pounds and now maybe you want to enhance your beauty. So that was because you increased your frequency with your health. And so now you have this thing called confidence. And now, so because you're healthier, you're more confident about your body, about yourself. And so wait, hold up. Confidence is the thing that can attract a relationship. So now, okay, wait. Now you're grown and sexy. Now, 
Now you have a relationship. And now we know two is always better than one. So now since you have a relationship, your health, your wealth is increasing as well, right? Because now you have two incomes. So you see how starting from your health, working upon those relationships, <laughs> or, or just one intimate relationship can lead to you obtaining wealth. And that is like the recipe for success. And so when I'm talking about relationships, it does not, not have to be limited to a partner who you see every day, you know, your, your husband or your wife. I'm talking about those relationships also that maybe you never had the time to even obtain. I'm talking about the relationship with the person that does not live in your house. They are important too. It's, it's like when you work on relationships outside of your comfort zone, those are the ones I feel like the universe delivered to you. Those are those people that the universe put in your life to meet them and that could possibly help you get to another place in your journey. And spending time with them outside of your comfort zone and doing the things that are a little different from what you normally do, those are the things that help you create a paradigm shift. You know, for example, like, say for instance, I don't know, you you normally just come home after work and, and sit in on the front by the garden every day. But one day, instead, you decide maybe to go, I don't know, you go on another side of town and have dinner at this nice little restaurant by the bar, maybe. And you talk to somebody there. Now, this is out of your comfort zone, out of the norm for you. And you talk to somebody there. You meet this nice person there. See that person? I believe that person. <laughs> was sent to you for purpose. Nothing just happens in the physical reality. And so those are the type of relationships that I feel like that are so important because you know, even in corporate America, they'll say, <laughs> it's not about what you know, it's about who you know. And so, not only am I doing these videos for people who are probably trying to get in an intimate relationship, but it's also to meet that introverted person, maybe like myself, that need to also establish other outside relationships. You know, that person who might be so introverted that they stay up in their cubicle. It's okay now to sometimes, you know, walk down the hallway and go talk to maybe the people in the office. The universe delivered them for a reason. I'm talking about that person that just so busy, maybe being a mom so busy in school maybe so busy doing whatever it is that you're doing but there are relationships out there in the physical reality of people who you might not think that you need to talk to but to me the funniest thing about life is the fact that Sometimes your blessing is right over there behind that person that you don't want to embrace. You could be introverted. You could be out of time. You could just be too tired. It could be whatever reason you want it to be. But your blessing behind that person that you don't want to embrace. Because life is about relationships. Because guess what? We are collective. We are a collective consciousness. It's about a relationship. When I move, you move. And so to put the icing on the cake for me, I thought this was so funny. 
Today I was driving on a street nearby. On a little highway little by nearby and I want to show y'all with my camera because see I had to circle back. I had to circle back to look at this little um sign that was at the little church. A little sign that was at the church on the highway. Let me see. Will my camera show this? Can you see this? It says Life is about being good at relationships. Boy, I turned around and I had to take a picture of this here because I knew that I was going to be doing this video today because it was on my mind last night. Because everything is perfectly orchestrated by source energy. Everything. And your blessing has been orchestrated already. You just never went over there and talked to the person that had your blessing in their hands. This video is from my heart to yours. Create healthy relationships along your journey. Life is about healthy relationships. Life is about the collective consciousness. Be blessed, babe. <laughs>